Hey, what's up? So today I'll be working on my RC cars. You may have seen my last video where I broke all of them with my new ramp. So I'll start with the X-Max. So this one sounded like the pinion gear came loose. So let's check it out. Looks like there's a small chip right here, but otherwise it looks okay. I think I'm going to still run it. Spur gear looks okay, so I'm gonna run that too. I may have to get some red Loctite, but I don't have any right now, so I'm going to use the blue Loctite for now. If that comes off again, I'll be using some red Loctite. Alright, so that was a pretty easy fix. On to the next RC. Alright, so for the UDR, this is actually going to be a pretty easy fix. All that happened was the spare tower came off. It pulled the threads out of here, so I'm going to be using some longer screws with this aluminum washer I have. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and swap out the other one as well. So those longer screws should hold those in a lot better. On to the next RC. So I'm going to work on the TRX-4. So on the TRX-4, I was running the tires from the Haas. I broke the steering off the portal right here. So instead of just replacing these, I'm going to upgrade the portals to aluminum to make them stronger. I'm not doing the brass because I'm not wanting to add weight. I'm just wanting to make them stronger than the plastic. I will be using these Team GPM aluminum portals. These include all of the screws that you need. They're all stainless screws. So those come out pretty easy. Now I just need to take this apart, transfer the bearings and the gears over to the new one. Before you screw it together, make sure nothing's binding up. And since this is aluminum, I would put Loctite on every single screw. None of my pants. On these top holes right here, on the stock ones, they use the same size screws as right here. But on this one, it uses a shorter screw. So make sure you put the shorter one in there so you don't strip these threads out. All right, so this side's ready to install.
The screw they give you is not long enough to go through both links. So just use the original screw for that. Alright, that side's done. I'll get the other one done. So this is all fixed. The chassis has been bent for a while. I'm not going to replace that because I don't run a front bumper anyways. But other than that, this one's ready to go. So I took the X-Mex out one more time before I posted this video and I still had problems with the pinion gear. So that pinion gear got loose and it ended up stripping out this time. I need to replace the spur gear again and I'm going to replace the pinion. This time I'm going to run a 21 tooth instead of a 20 tooth but i'm going to leave the pin system set up for a 20 tooth and that'll give me a tighter mesh hopefully i won't have any more pinion gear problems and i will be using red loctite this time instead of the blue loctite so i have the new spur gear on there i have the 21 tooth pinion gear and i put red loctite on that set screw All right, so I have that on there tightened down. This gear mesh is very tight, but I think it'll be okay. I was going to fix the backslash and the Rustler 4x4 in this video, but I'm still waiting on the parts to show up. So that's gonna be it for this video. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.